the bit wars. <laughs> 64 bits, 32 bits, 16 bits, 8 bits, 4 bits, 2 bits, 1 bit. <laughs> You've probably seen this video before. So this video actually showed up in my YouTube recommended feed a couple years back. That video is actually an edit on a video that is originally by the angry video game nerd. Now, this video is the original to the edit that you saw at the start of this video. And that video came out seven years ago, while the edit came out one year ago. They all go by the same premise. As the bitrate, which is exclaimed by him, goes down, the video and audio quality also goes down, becoming more compressed and distorted. Now I know a thing or two about compression and bitrate for both the audio and visual field. Let's just say none of them were true to the conversion. Ever since I saw that video, I've always wanted to know what it would look like if it was accurate for both the video and the audio. I kept thinking it until eventually, well, I made a program that does it for me. Basically, when he said, for instance, eight, eight bits, bits, I wanted the video color space to be 8 bits of precision. And same with the audio. Now, for the image processing, actually really easy. You can just split it up into segments and render it out as PNGs and write an algorithm to convert those images into a different color space and then compress that back right into a video. Now, when I say color space, uh, that's kind of a vague description. How many resolution steps are there between black and red, green, and blue. And we already actually have systems for this. So when you say 8-bit color, there are 64 colors per channel. And if you make this a matrix over RGB, well, you have a matrix of all the available colors for that color depth. Stepping between a variable amount of colors per channel is actually really easy. It took a bit of math in Desmos, but you can get it done. The hard part was generating audio. Now I settled with dot .wave because it's one of the very few, surprisingly, audio formats that are still open source and you can make them without having a license yourself with code. So I looked into making an audio file from scratch. How do you go about doing it? Turns out it's a lot harder than it seems. Apparently, uh, there's a huge header of about 44 bytes that tell your computer all the information it needs to know about said audio file. The most annoying thing is the only way that you can generate this is by writing it in binary. Woohoo! So I did a lot of research and after a long time on Wikipedia, I figured it out. When you're learning a new project, even as an experienced programmer, you still come to points where your code works, and then it doesn't work, and then it works, and then you change one thing, and then it stops working, and then you change another thing, and it works, but then you change another thing, and it stops working. Oh, the joys of programming. But usually the hardships are kind of like a relationship. They're annoying, but the overall relationship does not get blocked out just because of an annoyance. So, after a long, long time, I finished both projects, which, by the way, are on my GitHub. Uh, if you want to check out some of the source code for any of my projects, uh, they might be on my GitHub. Of course, that will be in the description. Sorry, I don't want to go on too much longer. But, uh, you know, coming into these projects makes it easier to make new projects. Because beforehand, I thought about making a tool where instead of what I traditionally do, snap, so I see a huge spike in the audio wave while I'm recording, and then just edit away everything I don't need. I was thinking about automating the process with a timestamp audio cue file, and without this thought, I would not be able to do this. So if we get that done, videos might come a little sooner. But anyway, enough of the rant. I've been away from humanity for too long. All right, where was I? Ah, yes, the wristwatch. 
This is the original topic of the original video. In the midst of his rant, he was going on about how people were fighting over bits. How 64 bits is better, 32 bits is better, nah 16 bits, and so on and so forth. But there's an underlying problem here. Because we only have down to 1 bit, which is represented by a 0 or a 1 which is a true or false. It is the lowest level amount of memory you can have. But he goes past the accuracies of binary and says, Half bit, quarter bit, the wrist game! How am I supposed to deal with a half bit of precision for color? You can't. But he starts with 64 bits and the highest bit rate we have for image is 24. If you're in something like Photoshop and the resolution of color really matters, then it can go as high as 36 bits. But then there's also another problem, because even with 36 bits of precision, there are two definitions that can be used. Now, if I was to stay true to the original edit, I would use 36 total steps available. But when you say 36 bits, you're referring to the binary bits. So the amount of numbers you can have between 0 and the max is 2 to the power of x, which x is 36. I'm not going to calculate that number. It's a lot. To stay true to it, I'm going to make both versions. So first, let's start off with bits of precision instead of total steps precision. 64 bits, 32 bits, 16 bits, 8 bits, 4 bits, 2 bits, 1 bit, Without my lack of knowledge on how good the last one was, let's just segue right into the total steps. 64 bits, 32 bits, 16 bits, 8 bits, 4 bits, That was mind-blowing. I don't actually know. I'm gonna go make that video now, and then I'll come back to you when I've seen it myself. So, it's been two full days, and I guess this is like the conclusion section of the video. It was definitely an interesting project. I think I value both videos, but of course I'm gonna value mine more because I made it. I can see why the person that made the edit didn't want to do it like this because well this was a lot more work than what the video was worth so yeah it was very interesting had to learn a lot to do it uh but now that i know how to do it i can do more with my new knowledge if you want the video that's both videos um i will put them into the github under the tests so if you enjoyed this video any support would be great um i don't really have a upload schedule uh as a parent to my upload history uh so if you want to see what i make when i make it uh you might want to consider subscribing got plenty more ideas they all take time but they should all be worth it so thanks for watching see you in the next one